Burglars are targeting luxury condos in the Pearl, and the thieves may not fit the typical profile. K2 Susan Harding joins us now from the newsroom. Susan, you have seen that surveillance video. Tell us about it. Well, that's right. The police are not releasing it yet, but it shows a young, well-dressed couple who acted like they had broken into places before. They moved very quickly, knowing exactly what they wanted to steal. Dressed like anyone in the Pearl District, the young couple wouldn't have attracted attention. They didn't look like somebody you would expect to be a criminal, let's put it that way. This theft victim saw everything the Irving Street Loft security cameras recorded. The couple breaking into the outgoing mailbox, taking everything inside, and the storage unit, stealing packages. They're hooligans and, and they, you know, they need their mothers to spank them. The lobby's locked front door proved to be useless. In the video, you can see the couple walking up here, the man holding a simple metal rod. It it takes him five seconds to bust open this lock. And if someone had seen them inside, they may not have raised any suspicion. They would just fit in in these neighborhoods. No, yeah, yeah, perfectly. Yeah, they might shop across the street over at Lizard Lounge. But the hipster thieves did run into an obstacle. The system worked because um, when the people got inside of the building, they weren't able to get out of the lobby. They weren't able to get up the ladder, uh, the elevator or anything. Police are also investigating a break-in at the streetcar lofts at Northwest 12th and Lovejoy. In that burglary, the thieves were able to pick the lock of a condo unit and steal from inside. Near the waterfront, tenants of the Pacifica Tower are also getting warnings. They said on two different doors that there were signs that someone had tried to get in. So managers here have hired extra security while warning tenants to be careful whenever they let someone inside, even if they look like they belong. The suspects in the mail thefts were white. They appeared to be in their mid-twenties and they were both wearing distinctive newsboy style knit caps. The woman had short blonde pigtails and wore a light colored skirt under a dark coat. In the newsroom, Susan Harding, K2 News.